mainly because I've been asked to do something similar. We are talking about, uh, we're in August 2018, so this could be slightly different to all the older videos. And I've been asked by a few people watching my streams lately, um, when you're at lower levels, how do you catch bass? Um, you can pretty much start catching bass about level 3. Um, and to do that, when you're level 1 and 2, you don't earn that much money. Um, but if you save as much money as you can when you get to level 3, um, you can buy a golden spinner lure and go from there. So what I'm going to do is just quickly um, show you what to buy um, and how much you're going to spend and stuff like that and the equipping of it and where to actually fish. So hopefully the fishing part goes well. Everything else seems to be working fine because I've actually bought everything. Um, but let's go from here. So first of all, you need to go to the shop and when you get to level three, you can actually buy a spin rod. Um, thoroughly recommend just, so once you get to level three, it costs 1250. Um, it's a value spin 190. Now you can use your reel that you've already got for your telescopic rod. Uh, which is your mini spin 800 if you've got that um, if not and you've got the money um, you can go for the mini spin 1200 it's basically just going to give you a little bit extra dra drag of memory yeah a little bit extra drag um, it allows you to have a bit thicker line and a bit more distance so that's basically the difference between the two and you're looking at about 650 for that um, then lines Mono line again level 3 it's 120 dollars 0.18 millimeters um, test of 1.4 kilos um, where your mono from the start is only 0.9 kilos now most bass that I've caught the biggest one I think is about the 900 gram or the 0.9 kilo bracket but generally the smaller ones are around about that half kilo so you probably can get away with that but generally speaking you want to go up to the bigger line um, the tougher line so that's what you need there obviously you should have a keep, keep net or a stringer um, that is um, stringer is oh, you can't have that by now you should have a keep net um, and level three you can't get one level two you can um, but at level four you can get a decent one um, three ki three kilos seven kilo three kilos for one fish seven kilo total weight so seven kilos total weight is what you're probably aiming for um, it just st stops you from um, catching and going back but because you're in uh, the lake there's no travel costs which means when you go back you can go back and forth as much as you want so I remember I actually kept the first net up until I think I was level six or seven and I just upgraded straight to the stringer because um, the stringer at level 6 it allows 3.5 kilos weight and 10 kilos total fish and as you can see I'm actually level 18 and I've still got the uh, the level 13 um, stringer um, which gives you rough idea 6 kilo max fish but 20 kilo total fish weight so far um, if I start going out to bigger places I'm looking at upgrading very shortly um, to number 16 um, and it's only because of the fact that I'm thinking of going to New York, but that's a different story. Also, what you're going to need um, is your license. Now, if you've got some coins and you haven't spent them, please don't spend them. Uh, get the Advanced License Unlimited number 7. Um, it costs 7 coins. Um, if you've used your coins, then obviously get your one day one or whatever. Um, but try and keep your coins and only use your coins for your licenses um, and the reason why is without it um, with just a basic one a basic license um, you got to release spotted bass which means you're not going to make any money you're just going to get experience red deer sunfish trophy bluegill um, so you got to release them um, and you can't catch at night where if you go the advanced Texas license um, you can actually catch keep everything um, and you're allowed to fish at night so definitely worth the seven gold coins um, to get that advanced license because you'll make most of your money here um, I bought a kayak for 30,000 gold uh, 30,000 dollars and it was all from fishing 
in uh, in here, the, the startup fishing area. Um, and also, what you're going to need is lures, and the best one I found to use is your casting spoon. I've been using the nine gram lately because my rod can handle it, um, and it's a level four casting. Where at level three, you can get the gold one there. You can get a silver one as well, but I find these ones the best. I don't know why it just works out that way, um, and that's hundred dollars as well so all up looking at about two thousand one hundred twenty dollars um, in-game currency and that will get you your, your rig and then you need your seven gold for your unlimited license so in saying that now we will go to Lone Star Lake and we'll travel there now we've done all the basics um, it's just telling me that I can't use my kayak which we don't need to and I always start here, um, so this is going to be a bit of now fishing and then later on fishing. So I always start at the front of the area, I'm just waiting for this to load. Alright, so here we go, down we come. Alright, so I always palm, palm here. Now if you right click you can bring up your little thing to show you how far you can cast out. Um, and I'm actually on my good good rod there, so that's not going to help us out that much. Um, Venture three, two, one, three. There you go. All right. So he reckons I can cast all the way out there, does it? All right. Let's let's see how true this is. Yeah. I'm gonna say I knew that wasn't true. All right. So. Just hold the left one down, maximum cast, how far out do we get? Oh, so we do get a fair way out. Now, what I do is I let it drop to the bottom, keep dropping. So, just when it's near the bottom, just twitch to retrieve. Now, the other way to do it, I actually like doing it this way. Put it on an angle and retrieve like that. Now, in the higher levels, um, it works really well. Here we go, so we've got our drag set, so we can probably get a little bit more. There we go. So this is a big, big fish. So I'm hoping to get it back in. So this is a big bass. So the big bass um, on the smaller gear is really hard to catch. As you can tell, it's just dragging me out. So that that took a while. There we go. And that's we did that. That's a half a kilo bass. So you can imagine if you hook up to a 800 uh, gram bass or a 0.8 kilo bass it's going to be a big big fight so definitely keep that one and so after that spot so that's another good spot so like I said straight down the front next to there cast straight out um, out there and usually you'll get one out there um, the other thing that I found which will help um, which is not as far as a cast um, but I usually stand on this side of the reed if there's splashes in there. You want to try and get out there somewhere and let it drop. Then I usually move to the side. And just when it's near the bottom there, just again, as the line goes tight, right click and we're on. So here we go. I don't know. This one here, you'll get some bass, you'll get some uh, grass pickerel. Um, but either either, you're still going to be making money. As you see, these are a bit more of a fight. It's a bass. It's probably another, it's probably going to be half a kilo. There you go, 0 0.473 of a kilo and another $80, $80 of living experience. So we'll keep that. So that's another spot in there. 
Uh, another one is straight in the middle here somewhere. Oh, I missed the cast. So sometimes, there we go. That's better. So same thing, next to the reeds. Wait for it to drop, start winding, and off we go. So sometimes this works, some, sometimes it doesn't. Um, in this particular spot in the middle, I didn't see any splashes there. Usually when there's no splashes, there's no fish. So we're kind of going out on a bit of a limb here. see we're doing a little bit more and then when you start getting in closer you can do like a lift lift and drop if you know how to do that it's a right click up and then as it goes slack you left click it till the line goes taut so it's kind of a left click right click left click right click that's how you do a lift and drop and sometimes you get them there and then sometimes you can just do like a slow wind in and stop and slow wind in and stop. Um, we're pretty close, but they call that a stop and go. And the other spot is, is you go to the other side of these reeds, maybe a bit further down, and you'll see the splashes in, in there. Oh, did I throw it too far? Oh, probably threw that a bit too far. Again, switching back, line tight, hold the left finger down, and we're on. So, I don't know what this is. We'll get the odd break off um, at this level. But if you can keep this up for a while, there you go, there's another $71 there. That was a 0.415 kilo bass. So yeah, if you see a splash in here, you usually want to cast it out to here somewhere. There you go, there's a splash out there, so. There we go, we'll go again. That drop, that drop, that drop. Sometimes you can get them really quick. Um, and they drop, and then other times you just don't get any. There we go, we're on. As you see, the system works. This, Like I said, this is level 3 gear. And I've pulled in... In the last 5 minutes I've pulled in... Oh, what's that, about 5 now? 5 bass? Unless this is... I don't know, this might not be a bass. Hang on. Is this a pickerel? No, that's another bass. There we go. Another ninety-five dollars. So we keep that one. Can't see anything biting there. This goes in the spot. No biting there. The other spot is in the bridge. Have a look through the middle. See if you can find anything floating around. Anything jumping? No. Let's have a look. There you go, there's something over there jumping. Let's put that in there somewhere. So like I said, get it on a little angle, point it towards the water, hold left down, and then just, as soon as that line goes a bit taut, right click. There we go, we're on again. So, it's not luck. Um, as you see, it is a fairly clear day. We're using that casting spoon that I said. So this is, like I said, level 3 gear. Um, so you want the full wind down and you want um, your drag set to level 4. Uh, 5, that will snap off. Um, 3, you'll probably never get the fish in. So this is like a happy medium. 
and it's another bass, another eighty-nine dollars. I'm actually trying to catch a, a, a pickerel right now, um, which some, some most people call them a pike, a grass pike. Um, but right now, oh, is that weed? I would say that's weed. If it's weed, there's not much you can do about it. You just wind it in. That's weed. As you see, I went too close to the thing. Oh, I caught a turtle. <laughs> hey. Uh, so we'll go again. You're not supposed to catch turtles, by the way. Um, there you go. Catching a turtle on stream. There we go, and we're on again. Oh. Meters still, 17 meters. Okay, so now we're gonna go that way. And you always go away from the fish with your rod, so if it's pulling right, you go left. If it's pulling left, you go right. And then when they start getting in close, you'll see them start to jump more. So sometimes you can actually lift your rod up. You can get them that way, there we go. There you go, 0 0.6 kilo, 112. I still haven't caught a pike yet. So as you can tell, the system really, really works. I'm going to have one more cast and hopefully um, this is a pike. Just to show you, you can catch pike out here. Uh, pike you don't get as much money for. Um, so you're really after your bass. Complete honesty, that is what you're after. You're not after pike, you're after bass. But even pike, you can you can get your money's worth out of pike. And I'm probably not going to catch anything this time around. How about that? Final cast and I'm not going to catch anything. I did all that work. Catching stuff. Oh, missed it. See, right at the end there, they, they was, the fish was still there. Alright, so... <laughs> oh dear. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit um, escape. We're going to leave here. We're going to find out how much money we made in the last... I don't know how long I've been streaming for, but however long we've been fishing for. So I made $547 in that amount of time and 73 XP in what, 10 minutes? So I've got a quarter of my money back already. Um, and I've got 73 experience. And that was from, like I said, that right there, which is the value spin 190, the mini spin 1200, uh, the mono 0.18 millimeter, the casting spin 5G. Don't worry about the other crap. This is what you need to know about is this stuff here. If you've got that at level 3, you can easily catch bass. You can start ripping in the experience um, and the the money and that will allow you to buy better stuff um, I hope this video has helped people out um, if you I'm going to do another one once I figure out how to catch walleye and stuff like that once we get up to a certain level um, and I start catching walleye more frequently I will then do a definitely do a video on that but right now bass at the moment is probably the easiest money and starting level 3 so you can get that money, that experience at level three with a very simple setup. Yes, it does cost $2,120. Um, but once you've got that money, um, like I said, you can not use this reel. You can actually use the previous reel, which would drop it down 650 bucks. So you're looking at nearly a $1,500 setup with the rod, the line, and 
the lure. Um, obviously, with the reel though, um, if you use the smaller reel, you won't be able to catch the bigger fish. And that's about it. I hope that was a very informative video. This was a Geek Off a Leash showing you Fishing Planet Level 3 catching bass with Level 3 gear. It can be done. Um, and if you do it, you're going to make a lot of money and a lot of experience very quickly, which means you will start just bumping up through those levels and then you'll be able to buy the better gear. And once you start getting the better gear, you can catch the better fish. But right now, I've got some fairly decent gear and I'm still catching the bass here. Uh, but I'm getting 800 gram or 0.8 PI ones, um, which are really good solid quality. And I'm getting 130, 150 um, dollars per catch. So I'm making money, getting my experience, and I'm doing that. And like I said, I bought the kayak for 30,000 gold in pretty much a day just fishing here. So like I said, make sure you get that license, the um, Advanced Texas License Unlimited. Make sure you get that. Um, seven gold coins. Um, you should have that because when you get your different achievements, you, you unlock the coins. Get the value spin 190, get the mini spin 1200, get your mono 0.18 millimeter and the casting spin 5G in the gold. And you will catch bass just as easily what I did in that video. This is Geeky Release. I hope I helped you out. Have a good day.